what did you think? And you actually asked Mike about this, but when you saw Mike in the interview with Boosie, yeah, uh, and how he was sort of pressing Boosie over the you know the transgender comments, what did you think? What did I think about what? About that interview and the interaction between uh, Tyson and Boosie. Um, knowing know, knowing Mike the way you do. Listen, Mike said he stated how he felt. He stated what he what he felt about the. The situation, and you know, Boozy took it how he took it, or said what he said, and and that was it. You know what I'm saying? But then, 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 then again, I, I, I think it's it's people. You know what I'm saying? People take it and they twist it. Oh, he meant this, or he meant that, and oh no, Boozy meant this, and this. You can't say what they would have meant, coulda, shoulda, woulda, woulda. You gotta go with the facts. Mm -hmm. Mike said this, Boozy said that, this and that. This was said that, that was said, and that's it. And, and you gotta, you gotta hand it to Boozy. Boozy stood his ground. He didn't. Try to take back what he said. He didn't flounder on his position. He said, well, "As a man, he's not supposed." Yeah, to. he said, "This is this when is what I said." Your mom, and, yeah, you know, stand on it. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I like Boozy. Boozy, yeah, man. I, I, I love Boozy. I like man. everybody. Love Boozy. Everybody loves you know, Boozy. Man. Boozy, you know, <laughs> he gonna hold his own. But you know, it's... what did you think of the TK Kirkland interview when Tyson actually did get upset? What it looked like with TK. Mm, I don't know. I didn't see that one. You didn't see that one? Nah, I ain't see. I let's ain't let's see pull it up. I'm gonna show it to you real quick. That was my first time seeing that interview. And what I get from that is he was being real. He was being real. He was like, he was telling you how he felt. And like he said, a lot of times people may look at us, you know, speaking about celebrities and things, look at us and say, oh, I know them. I know what they're going through. I know what they're... You don't really know. You know what we show you. Mm. We know the world knows what Mike Tyson showed them. They don't know where he really feels deep down when he goes in the house and closes the door, what was going on behind the closed doors of his house. People don't know. You know, not even me. I don't know. I don't know. You, you know what I'm saying? Mike got his own thing. And then there is, people got to understand, Mike is a real, he's the most honest person I ever met in my whole life. So when you when you say a comment to him and he know it ain't right, he going, he, Mike, Mike is, you ever <laughs> yeah. had like, like, like Mike is like a big brother that a, that'll check you, like a big homie that'll check, that check you gangster, but still your friend. Like I checked, he said, listen, nigga, you don't know nothing, nigga. Who, who are you? What are you? You said like that was like, like right? Think about it. TK could have been like, whoa, hold up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, who are you? What are you? You ain't nothing. You don't know nothing. But that's still his friend. And TK said, yo, man, we go way back. Yeah, you still my friend. You still, but you don't, but you don't know what I go through. You don't know what I the type of shit that I see when I go home or or or, or, or the type of stress that your stress and my stress is two different stresses, brother. Yeah, and I interviewed TK after that. Yeah. And he said. He was just trying to change the subject at that uh, point. I bet. <laughs> Tyson talked about how he had these millions of dollars. Yes. And yet he hated himself. And you said, come on, Mike, you didn't really hate yourself. Right. And what did Mike say? And Mike said, who the fuck are you <laughs> to tell me I ain't shit? <laughs> and I'm looking at him because I didn't know where he was going with that energy. And hearing different stories from around the world and people were like, oh, Mike was about to jump in TK's ass and this and that. And I want people to know that me and Mike Tyson have been friends for over 40 years. We're good, good friends. And in that interview, I saw that my energy and the positive side that I have of myself to uplift other people, Mike didn't give a fuck. So my thing to myself was, allow him to go down that path and not try to encourage him that he's a better man. Just let it go. Yeah, I mean, because you were just trying to be positive. Yes. And he's like, who the fuck are you to tell me how I feel? Yes. And he's calling you the N-word. Yes, you know, yes, yes. Like in yeah, an crazy. angry type of way. Yeah. And, 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 and I could see if people don't know him, mm -hmm. they could see how, whoa. This about to jump off. Right. But Mike would never cross that line with me. At least I don't think so. But I'm 99% sure. Well, well I <laughs> he bet. was just trying to, I bet. to veer did. off into he'd a have, whole different he'd thing. Have been, he'd have been in there feeling them Roy Jones with the fuck Roy Jones felt. <laughs> that thing that going through his body. <laughs> well, and I think at the end of the day, Mike has this kind of persona, you know, what you say, what he shows to the world. Oh, he's the guy that does the cartoon. He's the... Right. Um, the fun guy who's making a cake out of Roy Jones and cutting off the right. ear and making jokes. But it's still Mike Tyson. It's still Mike Tyson. 
Still and at the Mike end of the Tyson. day, he'll go back to being Mike, Mike Tyson. He'll go back to being Mike Tyson. At the drop of a hat. Drop of a hat. You yeah. let him go. He'll go right, right back to that Brownsville boy. Yeah. Straight up, Ike. Ike will come out. <laughs> they don't want to see Ike. Yo, they already know. You yep. know what I mean? So it's like, I mean, listen, that's all of us. That Zab will come back out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, like I like to say, you know, I've been known as Zab my whole life. So that's Super Judah. When that Super Judah come out, he different. He be on some, he, he on demon time. You know, I, I like mm-hmm. to keep him tucked in the back pocket and sit on it. Like, I don't even like to let him out too much. You know what I mean? Yeah. So 